All right. Well, I'm from uh, I'm from Oklahoma. Anybody here from Oklahoma? All right. Watch your wallets. Uh, I come from there, and I love love it there. It's a real real neat neat part of the world, you know, just right in the center of the country, and and the hardworking folks just dug a living out in the dirt. Got a lot of good common sense. Good folks. And growing up there, I had no idea that uh, that Route 66 was the famous road that went right it went right through my backyard, and I didn't even know it. I just thought it was Northwest 39th Street my whole life. And no clue it was the most famous road in our country's history and all that. But all that to say was, uh, you know, you, you knew some really cool places along Route 66. Some of those mo motor motor court ends, you know, you'd drive right up to your room, and every now and then you'd have an air cooled room. And a swimming pool. If you had an extra two dollars for a room, we'd be traveling, and I remember dri driving those kinds of roads. And my daddy would stop at every stinking one of those damn hotels to save a dollar. And all that place up the road said they were two dollars cheaper. I think. Do you think I'm a pool? I don't care. Shut up. And get in the car. <laughs> but anyway. I thought of a place that, uh, that might be this place. I never knew of a place called the Old Lucky Diamond Motel, but it sounded good on paper, so here's that song. <laughs> Just east of Verino, next to Ted's Escondido, set the old market down. Yeah. 